No restarts, I guess. How's this haven, though? The haven's back to three rebels and now doesn't have a haven advisor. That's awesome. I gotta remember not to run. I'll put a, an officer shinobi in the haven, I think. Officers are slightly better soldier haven advisors. They get bonuses to detecting rendezvous missions and bonuses to recruiting new rebels. And send the nails. Nano scale vest over there just fine at this point in the campaign. Seems fine to send a laser stun gun on a haven advisor too. Give it a, like an expanded mag and a scope. An auto loader. It's you, yeah. It looked like you were wearing exosuit. You are. You're wearing exosuit in that art. But you're not in the game, right? Shannon Walker. So confusing. All right, anyway. Majorbs takes a wound in the game. Do I have to act it out IRL? Yeah, I will have to stop streaming for however long it's for. And if I die in the campaign, that's just the end of my streaming career. It's been great. Thank you for all the support. But, you know. The stakes are high in this campaign. Alright, back to this mash and grab, I think. Setting course for India. No, I'm not gonna die, IRL. I'm just going to stop streaming and announce my uh, campaign for presidency. I haven't decided which country yet. Maybe just all of them. I figure if I campaign in every country, it'll be hard not to get lucky in one of them, right? Earth President? President of Earth. Sounds great. Close combat specialist Archons get close combat specialist. That's fine. Uh, looks like Liberation 1 again. We have a Sapper Sharpshooter with Full kit grants one charge per grenade item in a utility slot. Okay. The soldier does have 15 mobility. We could train full kit, train all the pistol perks, and just send her out with grenades. Grenades and pistol. Don't even need to like upgrade the sniper rifle, never shooting it. I'm just saying, it's a thing we could do. Let's look at who else we can train right now. Oh yeah, that seems way better. Raising fire and smoker. Um, I like smoke grenades on our specialist, I think. Center mass bug is still there, please. It's working exactly as coded. I don't know, I'm like sort of worried about this campaign right now. I don't know where I'm getting missions from after I liberate this region. 
Weed by example. Um, the soldier has 67 aim, 86 will. It doesn't feel like the soldier is great for lead by example, so we go for collector instead. And he kills of a non-human enemy by the squad. Have a 33% chance to grant one intel point as long as the officer is healthy. Gets us some more intel if we can go on missions, <laughs> but if we can't go on missions, no, well, it doesn't. I could have predicted this outcome. So it is true. Mm, yes. 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 New research available plasma rifle? Oh my god. What's that cost? 150 supply. Maybe I should have just rushed plasma rifles. No, we're not going to go for plasma rifles anytime soon. We've got the coil rifles. We built a ton of them. It's just a very marginal upgrade. I think I'm going to get Psy Soldiers rolling. Feels reasonable to me. Feels like I have the money. Priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. You rarely see people get Psy Soldiers out. Yeah, you have to, like, do it pretty deliberately. They're strong, though, if they, like, get trained. It just takes a while, and you have to pay the money and stuff. You don't see a reward on it for, like, two months. Maybe three months. I don't know. But eventually we'll have Psy Soldiers, and they'll be a very strong late game. Hmm. There's no real reason to launch this now that I can see. So I think we just keep infiltrating it until there is actually a reason to launch it or we hit 200 infiltration. It's not that hard to find a reason to launch it. Like all we need is a different mission I'd like to go deploy for or something and then, then we're good to go. Are we down to just New India making us missions? Yeah. Yeah, that's concerning. I think I spend 67 intel to grab East Asia, and we just hope that it does something for us. 67 intel is like very little. Or another haven. Attempting to establish local regional contact. Protect the data tab. example of a reason to run the HQ assault now. I think if I run the HQ assault this mission just disappears though. So maybe I want to run that mission. In which case I like abort the smash and grab. Okay look at this. I think the aliens are trying to invade West Asia from Eastern Europe. So like soldiers have been coming through New India to get to Eastern Europe. They're trying to build a lot of strength up here and then they're going to invade West Asia. We're gonna have an invasion mission. That looks like what's going on there. We're down to strength two in Western US. Fucking hell. <laughs> All right, whatever. Back to four on recruit. You can run intel in the region to detect the invasion, yeah. So we might switch over to intel in West Asia. I was just saying, like, an hour ago or so that I didn't really need two full intel havens. This region's at strength 5. I think 5 is exactly how many strength you kill when you liberate a region. I'm also killing 18 vigilance for what it's worth. Let's win this mission. One day, two hours. I trust the team. Let's go without a boost. I want this 30 intel. I want to keep it around. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stretch my legs. 
and fill up my glass of water. Maybe just drink a glass of water and then get a different drink as well. We got ourselves an HQ assault. This will be like an hour and a half at least. I'll be right back. Okay. Menace 1 5. Infiltrate and investigate the area. Expect heavy resistance. Neutralize all hostile contacts. <sighs> Start with concealment. We have one Shinobi. No, that's a Technic. Did I not bring a Shinobi? Oh, I didn't bring a Shinobi to this, right? That's so fucking brave. <laughs> it's very brave to not bring a Shinobi on this mission. Alright, cool. Moving. The idea, though, is that we're going to somehow build a buffer around our sharpshooters. And then we can hunker tank with people in front of them as our sharpshooters kill stuff. That's the general idea. Headed there now. Bestätigt. Rücke aus. Moving to position. Heading to that location. Headed there now. Already there. I said I don't need a shinobi for this one? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see if that's true or not. Past Jorbs has made all the decisions. And now we are left to execute on his plan. Verstanden. Rücke aus. Headed there now. I use AP rounds. I think my sharpshooters have AP Scanning. rounds on this mission. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm doing all right today. Rolling. 
Good copy. Moving on target. So you can tell there are lots of enemies because when I end my turn the game like freezes for a minute and uh, drops all of it frames and stuff. Rolling. The dead giveaway. Hey, Arados, how you doing? Thank you for the 37 months. Ankabomo showed you two Arados. Is it because there are lots of enemies, or is it just XCOM 2 and it does it anyway? Okay. We have a situation where Bayesian probability move, move, move. starts more and more to imply that there are lots of enemies. But I feel like there's always the chance that it's just because it's XCOM 2. Roger that. The year is 2070 and XCOM 5 is being released, wow. And you decided to come back to watch my like streams in 2020? Has content really not gotten any better? That's concerning. Am I still streaming? 50 years from now. Imagine how little hair I would have after another 50 years of streaming with Twitch chat. I <laughs> stopped streaming after Over becoming president of new new France. Alright. I just kept on making new countries until one of them stuck. Is it like a small building in like Arkansas or something? Chat easier to deal with than retail customers. The closest I've ever gotten to working retail was online sales, and so not really the same thing. I don't really know. I think the fact that when you work retail, the person is actually like there with you is. I mean, that's certainly not something I have to deal with as a streamer, right? So, definitely a lot easier in that way. But on the other hand, like, the sheer number of people might be a bit higher for me as a streamer. Rolling. I don't know. I'm on the move. Still stream and it's still Long War 2, but all the characters use my voice pack now and the weapons seem antiquated. Like, the plasma weapons seem antiquated? Los, los, los. Holy fuck. Future's a crazy place. I wonder if I can just mosey on up here. I've been here in contact with this direction, but I haven't found it yet, so maybe we have some like good distance between us and the enemies still. Four enemies are on one tile. I brought some shredder cannons. Alright, we got some drones. Traditional start to the mission. I could just full override one. 
We'll override an Advent Hunter drone and go from there. Let's take it. I have a hundred and forty six tech score. It's pretty high. I'm a little bit concerned that a pod might patrol in from here and flank and kill my sharpshooter with how I'm set up right now. The infamous weasel. Thanks for 11 months. Hope you're doing well. I'm a big fan too. That is just, I mean, it's just right here. Try not to break this one. If it's not even like opening up more fog of war, really. Take a roll on this. Um. I don't think I need to master enemy. It does give it stat bonuses, but the one in six ish chance of failure just doesn't seem worth it. Can drones serve the resistance? Yeah, I don't believe they can. I think you have to get one of the, like, the mechs with feet. Just <laughs> the mechs with feet. I wonder if a sectopod can go back to a haven. I'm not sure. Whoa, this has concealment? Oh, hold on. It says it has concealment. Roger. Is it true? Concealed drown. Location confirmed. Increasingly, it feels like this mission is just going to be very easy. Closing on target position now. Unclear how I could possibly lose with a concealed drone. That soldier doesn't have any ablative HP. Good to go. A strange decision. Heading there now. I think it's just a nanoscale vest, right? Nanoscale vest, pistol, two grenades. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. On Overwatch. Alp, Alf, Roger. I've got my eyes on. Well, the enemies hear the drone explode when it dies. I don't believe that makes sound in a game mechanical sense. Obviously, it made a loud explosion noise, but I think in a game mechanical sense, it doesn't make sound. Let's walk you over here. Moving on target location. And walk you over here. Moving on target location. And now, when I go up onto this rooftop, just in case I walk into a turret. Moving to position. And break squad concealment, at least I'm not currently. No. We're visible here. Well, at least I'm not currently in vision of the enemy. <laughs> at least I knew it could happen, right? At least it's not like a surprise. There's shredder ammo here. So it's just fucking the dub. We even have hollow targeting too. Location confirmed. Alrighty. We're ready for him. As ready as we'll ever be. On Overwatch. Scanning. Not entirely true. I didn't study weapons yet. Beat fire shots. Well, you're still concealed? Okay, that's... No, you're not. What is mechanical... Uh, immune to fire and poison. 
plus one hit point, plus 15 hack. Oh, wow, they still have that. Scanning. I'm getting 100% controls against plus 15 hack defense without like reducing the defense at all. Pretty sweet. Oh shit, there's XCOMs here. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, come on, this is my drone. Hmm. Perhaps go back to shooting at my drones, actually. Yes! Return fire. Zero percent chance to hit. I love it. What a great ability. Um, alright. Seems completely reasonable to use a Shredder Cannon on this. this. Right there. Get some. Twenty eight's my best. I guess I moved last turn as well. Shit. Heavy gunner, heavy rocketeer, heavy lancer. These are encouraging names. Uh, <laughs> there's another pod right there. Okay. Specialist. It's pretty good. Another drone to repair the first drone. Oh my god. My only concern is that it's too smart. Gonna need to reload soon. No problem, boss. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've shot the Gauss pistol this campaign. Yeah, it just hit for seven. Yeah, that was a thing. Take the shot. Save the stun gun for later. That's right. Come get some. Pistols are low-key disgusting. 
Once you get those perks drained and you have some high tier pistols, you start to do some damage. That's a big... Okay. Let's see a dentist. I got a piece. I'm pinned down here. Yeah, those are SMG snakes, so they're not really having a huge chance to hit them out there. Kubikiri. 0% crit chance. Hmm. Doesn't seem super great. Why did I train that? Sharpshooter is doing. Holy fuck. Okay. This is why we train sharpshooters. targeted something for the first time in the campaign. I feel like the coil weapons probably like have some sort of motor to hold them up or something. I feel like they're not as heavy as they look like they are. Is this move dumb? If it works, it's fine. Did it work? Did it work, though? Bad decisions I could make here. Let's make this one. Target locked in. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll take my ten until. I guess you can only get one small intel cache per mission. That makes the Skulljack Rush strat we were talking about sort of bad. On my way. Come on, focus. Okay, but what if, okay. On the move. I think I'm gonna use an incendiary grenade for this. That was a pretty bad double miss. Grenade out. 
What were the odds there of full whips? Probably like 1 in 25 or something. Where did door open? Heard mech footsteps? Okay. I'm just not very happy about what's going on with this Rogavore against my very easily flankable sharpshooters. So let's see if we can work out how to like fix that. Map keeps going for a while. It's not like I have the map corner here or something, in which case I could maybe go grab that. I can handle that. Can step you over here. Nothing yet. I do like this spot for the sharpshooters. I just don't want them to die. Know what I'm saying? Sure thing. I've got the package. Das lass ich mir nicht zweimal sagen. Absolutely. I'm sorry to hear about your house, Crooked Fay. It's too bad. Moving. Sounds like it's what you need to be doing, though. So. I'm going. Is the gun still dancing? Yes, probably for the rest of the mission. It's gonna take about 20% of my GPU power to uh, animate that. I'll actually keep. Um, dancing for the rest of the campaign, I imagine. Go, go, go! Until we, um... Got it covered. It's not a matter of restarting our computer, it's a matter of installing the game on a different computer. the heat death of the universe, which it is the leading cause of. Okay. As the primary I hope it's worth consumer it. of power in our universe from now on. Overwatch. Alright, I'm sort of ready. Give me more stuff to kill. My cooldowns are coming back up. The drone's still chilling. Come get some. I don't know, they're not here. Maybe we just like agree that we get this part of the HQ and they get their part and we can just like live in harmony. Come get some. Scan the beats. Got it covered. Moving to Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Alright. Big mutton. Mech, two troopers, it's a Muton Centurion, I believe. Good hit.
Gosh. Oh. Yeah. We don't want two at once. Wait. Oh, <laughs> wait. Okay. All right. Okay. That's cool. Why didn't you shoot up my drone? That's what the drone was for. What have our sharpshooters got? It's about everything. Got ten active aliens. How many of the things that kill all of those at the same time do we have left? We got some of those. Might have one or two. Let's make sure I understand where everything is. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The tenth is actually my drone. Actually, only nine. Only nine. You fucking four flamethrowers? What is this? Get some. Twice per mission, spend an action to grant all allies within command range a 20 bonus to hit the remainder of the turn. To crit, rather, not to hit. No, <laughs> don't shoot at that one. <laughs> um, all right, I just can't get away from how good the shred is here. So we have to do that. And I think the only soldier who can is this one. So you sort of have to do that. You have lightning reflexes as well. Let's shoot it here. We are needing looks like four tiles. Four. One, two, three, four. It should work from that tile. If I could move you somewhere else. And so many. These snakes are pretty lethal. But we have our own sharpshooters. It's like the sharpshooter snakes versus the, the XCOM sharpshooters. Because every every single one of them has a sniper rifle. So they they brought four sharpshooters, and we only get two. Seems very unfair. I wonder if the drone can deal with the Berserker this turn. Mm, it doesn't have room. Unless we used Oscar Mike this turn. But I don't think that's what I want to do with this soldier this turn. Although, maybe. I guess it depends how good this is. Let's find out how good this is. Because it, it's not going to kill them all. It's just going to, like, set them up to be killed by other stuff, probably. Might kill two. That would be incredible. No, it only killed one.
This tile's insane. Holy shit, this tile's so good. Seems doable. This is a 94 with a 6% graze chance. I think we go for that right now. So lightning hands here. And it's face off time. Fire once at every visible enemy with your pistol. You're dead. You're dead. And you take another six. Face off seems all right so far. Um, one way to kill this snake really fast is to shoot that rocket there. And that snake seems like sort of an issue right now, so it might be worth doing. I think it is. So let's grab Fortify here, and then... As long as that removes the ground from underneath the snake's feet, it's gonna fall through and die from that height. Perfect. Actually, I I got like one less damage, it wouldn't have worked. It's starting to look like this muton over here is the big problem. I'm not sure how we deal with that. Oh, the berserker's still alive. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> um, all right, I didn't notice that. I'm worried that that Muton is going to grenade my two sharpshooters if I leave it alive. I'm playing this mission with no gunner and no shinobi. What a crazy person. What a crazy person. Yeah, this kills something 100% of the time. It's a couple of aim bonuses, huh? <laughs> yeah, there's a couple. This doesn't always kill that. I'm using my other incendiary. Already. We'll be at 22 killed. How many was it? Like 34 for the mission? So it's like the command pod plus one other. The command pod plus one other plus finish killing these. Having an incendiary for the command pod seems sort of big. Oh shit. Do I have that with both of my sharpshooters? That's one way to do it. Ah, uh, no, that's not enough. But if you can get a kill... What's your chance against the Muton? Not that good. 
This looks significantly better. Please kill. Oh, okay. There you go. That's exactly enough damage. I have an issue where my specialist sort of isn't doing anything this turn. Um. That does have range, actually. It means I can fire pistol here. Now that that's done, my specialist... I don't know, because I want to work out who I need to give defense to. Probably ends up being you anyway, because of the snake. The snake can't shoot at you. Okay. We're hoping for burning here. If we don't get burning here... I don't know what happens if we don't get burning here. We got burning! Yay! <laughs> Um, um, good. Um, that's, that, that solves that problem. All right, good. Put an A protocol on you. Shoot here. How many is that now? Was that exact lethal? I think two of my shots this turn have been exact lethal. Reload, we steady. I want to put this drone somewhere where the snake can shoot at it. So the snake will shoot it instead of my soldiers. We reload, we steady. That was a good turn. For how things were looking at the start of the turn, the end of the turn was pretty good. Is that what I would describe as the breakdown in this mission, or maybe a breakdown? Yes, that was definitely a breakdown situation. Absolutely. Drone, no! Oh, it's fine. You heard a robot? There's definitely, definitely at least one robot on this mission, yeah. So I think with how this works with 34, Four total. We killed 22. There's eight in the command pod, and there's a pod of like four robots or something. Probably a fairly nasty pod. I consider using shred storms instead of the incendiary. Um, I think if the sharpshooters aren't in position to use shred storms again, we win. Honestly, like, is that my first Master Sergeant? Uh, second Master Sergeant. Way. I think that you're right that it's less likely that the sharpshooters will be in position to use Shred Storms, but yeah, I think that if we don't have to use those, we win. Because that means that the sharpshooters are like at range against enemies and can just kill them all. Okay, that was sort of it's killing time. a little bit messed up. Whatever you say. No more of that, please. Overwatch. I'll take one pot at a time from now on. Ready to go. Overwatch. Triple Andromedon pod. Sounds fun. I'm just gonna chill out for a couple of turns. Let's listen, let's see if we can work out what else is going on on the map. Can't get over how good the pistols have been on this mission so far. Okay. That's not a bunch of robots. That's two sectoids and a an zombie. Gotta do better. Schwacher 
I think Sectoids are forced on HQ assaults to make sure that you can research Psy, basically. Who's keeping score? Which means that you got these pretty easy pods on HQ assaults. Drones are forced on HQ... Oh, fuck. Drones are forced on HQ assaults, too, to make sure that you can research Advent Robotics. I'm pretty sure both of those things are true. My Overwatch the soldiers have Shredder Ammo, yeah. Yeah, I really like um, Shredder Ammo on Technicals because in situations like that... Like, Technicals tend to be at the front of your team. They often have somewhat decent aim. They'll be on Overwatch. If you can hit that Overwatch and shred armor as well, then all of a sudden you're like 30 HP. God enemy. Turns into like a super squishy. Fairly easy to kill enemy. Enemy is still up! Hostile terminated. I'm all out. Affirmative, covering now. Rock and roll. This mission is Tank not easy, is like Scoobs. <laughs> like. I have certainly Come played campaigns where I've squad wiped on missions like this one. We got lucky that nothing pulled from this direction against our sharpshooters when they were completely undefended on their flank. I haven't killed a robot yet, right? But I've definitely heard robot feed. Hmm. Heading out. Ready to go. Got cover. Hey, Jcon. Bitte Feuerschutz. Yeah, that campaign was great for a while, and then it was like waiting to watch Psy animations, which are very slow and very repetitive, so I sort of stopped playing it. Got it covered. I killed a mech with Overwatch. Oh, I did kill a mech with Overwatch. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's right there. Okay. Maybe there aren't any more mechs. Yeah, it's probably just the command pod now. The command pod tends not to patrol. Which means we have to go find them. Is there any way to turn off Psy animations? Oh my gosh. If there was a mod that just turned off animations in this game, that would be great. I think it's actually quite difficult to mod that though. I often feel in games like the animations and cutscenes and stuff, they feel a lot like when you're at the house party and the host tells everyone to shut up and sit down so that they can listen to him play Wonderwall. And yeah. Not my favorite thing. Wait. How did we kill them both? <laughs> I could have controlled those in order to uh, kill my drone. Wait, I don't see it moving, but I can still hear it. You hear that? Pretty sure I can still hear it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Scanning. 
Yeah, do you think, like, the snake got handed that gun and then they, like, identified it later that night and found out it was a cursed gun? A cursed gun of dancing? I could see it. I can handle that. Moving to Overwatch. Here I come. Moving to Overwatch. How do I? It would be nice to know that my sharpshooters could shoot, you know? Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> It's bad luck. Guess I have to kill you then. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work out a new place for my sharpshooters to stand, I think. So it'd also be a great time to have a shinobi. Although, if I did have a shinobi, in fairness, um, shinobis are not the best combat soldiers. And the soldiers I brought have been doing a lot of stuff on the combat turns, so... That's true, we haven't spilled shinobi Look blood yet. If we had a shinobi, would probably be dead by now. I doubt that. One thing shinobis are good at is not taking very much damage very quickly. Sharpshooters forward. Go, go, go. The drone looks so happy with all its friends. I tried to show this early in the campaign. This is the frowny face for the drones. See, here are the eyes, and here's the frown. And the other side is the smiley face. Smiley drone. It's very important that we anthropomorphize robots because it will make us feel better when Got they it. take over the Moving. world if we think that we can relate to them. Running. I think all the people on team Jorbs know German, or is that guy basically talking to himself? That's something I've wondered too. It seems like you would agree on one language for like combat communications, right? Overwatch. To me, it seems like that. If we don't anthropomorphize them, it will be easier to smash them to pieces when they rebel. Yeah, that's a good point. And when it's like a Roomba, I think that's valid. I think when the Roomba downloads the rogue code and, and starts to go haywire, you're going to want to be able to feel okay about destroying it. But when it's like a death robot, which I assume we're going to be rolling out next month or something, um, with how the year's been going so far, 
I'm not sure that that really helps. Scanner get beat. On your order. On Overwatch. Did I miss the news last week? Probably. I'm ready. Come get There's been a lot of news lately. Mm, yeah, probably. Affirmative. Covering now. Back online. What's over there? Solid copy. Remember the murder hornets, most overhyped thing. Got it covered. Bereit für den Los, zeigt euch. They were mostly friendly, and I've only needed, like, three of the rooms in my apartment, so I still get to use my office. Affirmative. Covering now. On Overwatch. On my way. Back in. Okay. Now these are supporting against any enemies that we pull in there. So we can start trying to clear this out a little bit. Although if we pull enemies over there, I don't really know what we're doing. Panicking. Panicking. Here I come. No problem, boss. I'm on it. Affirmative, covering up. Come get some. I could just fly the hunter drone around. Like, that's sort of an interesting idea. Because usually you, like, care if your soldiers die, right? But we really don't care if the hunter drone dies. If I can just, like, find where this last pod is with it, and even activate the pod, and then, like, hunker tank in front of my sharpshooters. Honestly, I probably could have left my sharpshooters back there. I was gonna do that. On Overwatch. We're drone friend. Wait, no, we were just talking about this. I'm on Overwatch. If the drone pulls a squad, will the squad just eventually run into an Overwatch wall? Well, they will run into our soldiers. We're gonna be about a hundred at hit points in the pod, so. Running into our soldiers will not necessarily kill them. Okay. Well, we found them. I think we need this wall not to be here anymore, right? That feels important to me. Bang lasts for one turn. Is that a tier three? Elite trooper is our first tier three trooper. Can I maybe close the door? <laughs> it's allowed. <laughs> uh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doesn't have incinerator ring. I didn't see what all was in this pod. I assume it's pretty nasty stuff.
How does this just teleport through the wall exactly? How does that work? Drone friend, what do your robot eyes see? Trooper. I think that might just be a trooper. General, trooper, giant mech. For the most part, this looks like somewhat manageable, I want to say hesitantly. It's like a grenade, doesn't it? Ninety-one percent stun. I have hollow targeting on you, right? I'll take it up to a hundred. Kill the mech though. I could kill the mech and the trooper. Or I kill the mech and I stun the leader. Try to rapid fire the leader dead next turn. It might take longer than that to kill it. Do I run backwards? I could run backwards. This is a pork grenade. Is off is back up. Okay. The sharpshooters are just shit here. So, I guess we use their consumables. But they're still bad next turn as well. If I were to run, I would go. None of them have squad sight, right? I think I have to run. Is there some reason you can't move? Because I used running gun on you to get you there. Whoops! Okay. I guess we won't be running. Not this turn, anyway. I could close the door. Soldier has formidable. Hmm. Let's do this. Not even close. Okay. You have formidable. You have formidable. I'm gonna put these two next to each other on the door. I'm going. Do you have incoming? What the fuck do you not have incoming? You have jammer? Jammer's not against incoming. What are you? <laughs> Gosh. Past Jorbs made some weird decisions with that soldier. All right, that's unfortunate. 
There's a Rocketeer there as well. Holy shit. Probably. You know that was really good damage. To burn the Rocketeer. We'll see shortly what we need to do with the Rocketeer. All well, the walls sort of gone. Not necessarily a good thing. work with a gas grenade? Nope. Guess that's an argument for having a flashbang instead. Like a pretty strong argument. I'm on it. Have a drone. The drone is uh, about to die to my own thing. Nope. Still have a drone. Step back. Hmm. I have um, the type of flashbangs that remove hack defense from mechs on that soldier as well. It would have been a lot better to have a flashbang than a gas grenade right now. sword I can't see it um that's unfortunate these are my two soldiers left if I go here for some reason I can't see the robot Here? Here can see the robot. I'm pretty sure this cover blows up, but... Tired of waiting around. Uh, we just won't have them shoot at it. Haywire is the more sure way to deal with it this turn. But... Oh, I have Trojan. Haywire's yeah. a go. Okay. So that actually kills it when it expires as well. <sighs> I'm 
So we have the officer who's currently flanked. We may just throw a grenade against two formidable soldiers. We have a turret, which I'm not sure it can actually see any of my soldiers anyway. Oh, it probably sees you. We'll see. Um, and some like elite troopers. We're pretty sure this is it for the mission. No need to ask twice. Hopefully, none of my soldiers die this turn. If they don't, it feels like. Oh, you have one of those. Okay. If my soldiers don't die, it feels like next turn. We're going to be in pretty good shape. Drones doing so much work right now. I have to hollow target instead of shoot. I like that. Oh my gosh, this drone. No! Wow. It just tanked an entire enemy turn against the command pod. Drone. <laughs> Thank you, drone. Four, five, six, seven. I saw it. Come on. I saw it. No, 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 no. <laughs> really? Let's try a roust. Roust might be the better option anyway, honestly. We want him on fire. Okay. What if, I mean, what if he was just not on fire, though? What about that? Would that be good? Because, like, I could just not set him on fire if you wanted. If... Only if you wanted. <gasps> Kobe Gary! <laughs> <laughs> if I had a shotgun here, you, like, you know. <laughs> you know what's happening. I don't have the shotgun though. Hmm, line of sight's really weird. God, that move is pretty fucking like. Sure hope the flamethrower works, huh? Because otherwise, you're not coming home. <laughs> um, yeah. Use flush. I think just taking a shot here is actually better than using the shredder gun. I think I probably should have this one though. Let's see what we're working with. Hey Slurdy, how you doing? Oh my god. It's the 23 months, Slurdy. I just like, sorry, I'm sort of, this mission's a little, you know. We're playing some XCOM right now. Uh, sorry, I missed that. I'm very zoned in. I do have this. Oh, you have cover from that angle too. Then. Do you have a flamethrower yet? Uh, yeah, I've got a flamethrower still. So the 
play, I think, is do something that doesn't end my turn here. Like, maybe that is fine. And then command another flamethrower charge. Because this tile is a good cover tile and it's in a flamethrower range of the officer. And sort of the only one that I have art is this. This isn't real. <sighs> okay. It's getting progressively more difficult. Well, at least I don't have a whole lot of options anymore, so I don't have to think quite as hard, I feel like. There's a turret on the roof still as well. This kills a surprisingly large amount of the time. Kills like 40 to 50% or something. There's someone who can follow that up if it wounds. I think my sharpshooter. No. Is this war exactly? Well, this turn will go on for another like 30 minutes, it looks like. After this turn, well, it depends if we get to play another turn. Might not get to play another turn after this turn. Can I force a grenade? You don't have formidable. Why don't you have formidable? What did I take? Like blue screen bombs? Fucking hell. What am I doing? I think this is sort of the only. Only play that makes sense. We gotta debuff it. Get ready for surprise! <laughs> Crooked thing. That is legally yours now. That is gas debuff. Um, it gives like minus 20 aim and minus health every turn. Does minus set count as a debuff? It's sort of a debuff. I like my sharpshooters. Melee range. I should have shut the door first. I really don't want my soldiers' flashbangs. So let's take your flashbang away from you. Our gas grenade's a block card. Ish. They aren't not a block card.
Shoot it. What are you on Overwatch for? <laughs> okay. It's a graze. It's a graze. You're ruptured? <laughs> Holy shit. No more grazes then, please? Uh... That's fine. I'm under fire. Kill it. Actually, yes. Okay. That's all that's left. It's just those four. Yeah, maybe a rocket for this enemy, perhaps. Try not to hit the guy who's ruptured. It's also overwatching, so... Let's run the overwatch. Assault's still got plenty of health. Oh, hey, your stun is back up. Do you have a hazmat? Yes. How do you feel about that move? That move is pretty bold. Keep going if I need to. This is just a, a black hole where flamethrowers don't work over here. You just can't flamethrower there. That seems sort of unfair <laughs> to me, but all right, I understand. Skulljack only deals 20 damage. Kubi Curry, on the other hand. Ooh, 22% crit! 22% crit chance! I need it. Oh, you're suppressing the soldier? So that's a chance to hit after the suppression debuff. Okay. I should have precision shot there. You have Shred? Who has Shred? Someone has Shred here, right? Actually, no. Actually, no. Okay, I'm not sure I can kill it then. And I managed to put you somewhere where I can't stun it either. Feels very awkward. Get some help crit. Yep. Yeah, but my officer's already moved. Crit. Feel like 15. Oh. Oh. It's 
it's Delta. There's no way. So I think, like, actually, like, for real, we could be carried here. 22% of the time. <laughs> I am Jorbs' overwhelming disappointment. Um, that's too bad. But sometimes that kills, right? I don't know. Do I already feel justified in training the ability? Maybe I do. Can you seriously see that turret? That would be an incredibly embarrassing way to die. Friend has re-poisoned. So. Damage. That was also a dash from... Oh, no, it wasn't. Dead? Whoa. Oh, we're over here. And now we're there. But where are we going next? Could be anywhere. There again? All right. And now we're here. Just normal XCOM stuff. Well, I'm dizzy, but it is my turn again. Got a way through this cover. Another rocket. You have a rocket. You don't have a rocket? You don't have a rocket. You used your rocket. I could finally actually flamethrower it. I wonder if it has like a hazmat vest. That would so not surprise me. Seems like exactly the thing that JL would do to ruin my day right now. Uh, we can run there though and use command. Only three active. We crit these like quite often. Oh fuck, the turret sees me? Does it? Does it? Hold on, this is important. Yeah, the turret sees me. Okay, so we should probably end the mission this turn then. Um, you had a shred still. So you will actually. Can we get the corpse? No, I'm not risking that. Headed there now. Poison, so it doesn't have hazmat vest. Rip them to shreds. True. Maybe it's still like immune to fire or something though, I don't know. It's possible. We are sort of all in here. But I think we're 100% success rate. I think it's okay to be all in here. Even if we're like 99% rate, it still seems fine. One charge of command. Make sure I can see my assault. Use command. Rapid fire. That is not that much damage. They have other options. Good. One more of those. That's enough. That's enough. Went off the armor. Heading out. Don't miss this weapon, butter. Nope. 
Don't miss. There you go. There was the crit. Positive confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Operation Fire Shriek. We got two wounds. But everybody came home alive. That's the second region liberated. Drone OP, most under fire, advent hunter drone. That first turn where it like dodged four shots and then got killed by the fifth, that was a pretty big deal. Too bad I killed both of the other drones on Overwatch. I could have controlled one and healed the drone up. Would have tanked for like another turn, probably. This is a Master Sergeant Sharpshooter. Um, yeah. Generally a pretty good soldier. So, one of the strongest combos in the entire game is Bunker Buster Serial. Serial is a powerful chained shot ability. Okay. For every kill made with your sniper rifle, your actions will be refunded. So we shoot a bunch of stuff, it all dies. That's the general idea. Um, it has a six turn cooldown. You can use it multiple times per fight. <laughs> um, we grab this, and technicals have a special rocket called a bunker buster which destroys buildings and other objects in the environment. It doesn't deal incredibly high damage to units, but it has a massive AoE and deals ridiculously high environmental damage. So we use that, we turn on Serial, we kill the entire pod. That's like how these two soldiers work together. And that gets us through, hopefully, the most difficult mission, the most difficult turn of the mission most of the time. Hey, you're here too. Usually I just take lethal here. Street Sweeper is pretty neat. Cone based shotgun attack that does bonus damage to unarmored targets blocked by heavy cover. Um, in this campaign, and I mean fairly often I would say, I already have cone attacks that do a lot of stuff. I've got all the shred cannons, shred guns, whatever they're called. And so grabbing lethal for more damage on my rapid fire and more damage on my close combat specialist shots in particular is a really big deal. And I think it's usually more exciting than Street Sweeper in my mind at least. Chain Lightning is really cool. But like two damage, it's so much damage. It's like upgrading your weapon to weapon tiers. So much damage. I'm rich. Oh, actually, sort of rich. Another elite stock. All right, cool. Lots of high level technicals. Yeah, the technicals have been doing really well and have not been taking a ton of wounds. Um. Are we doing like class by class? Our assaults, I've talked about our assaults. Our assaults are not doing great. We have the one grenadier. That's fine. Grenadiers are okay, but I don't feel like you have to have a bunch of grenadiers to win a campaign of Long War II. They're very okay at all stages of the game. For sure. <laughs> they're just, I don't think they're ever the best soldier in like early game, mid game, or late game. They're always like somewhere in the middle, which is fine. It's fine. 
Peter will do fine. Gunners, we got three. Gunners are okay. I'm okay with that. A couple of rangers. I should probably do something about having more than two of those now that I have coil guns. They're becoming sort of good. We got four very good sharpshooters. That's a huge deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shinobis. Maybe overtrained shinobis. Only four specialists. I think I'd prefer to have five. Oh, wait. I have six. <laughs> I just, like, missed that these were here. Yeah, that seems reasonable. You, like, have to have a specialist in every mission, basically, in this game. They just do so much. Four technicals. Yeah, they are pretty high level, too. What do you have to do? What do you have to have to win a long war campaign? Um, I mean, there are lots of ways that you can win late game. Most of late game tech is like capable of winning the end game if you deliberately like build a strategy around like using a plasma gun to kill the end of the game. You can probably do that. If you want to kill the end of the game with. Psy soldiers, you can do that if you want to kill it with armor. Good luck. Uh, <laughs> armor doesn't deal a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Guns and size and high damage abilities. All right, cool. Well, I um definitely after the HQ assault is like time for a break from XCOM. Uh generally don't finish an HQ assault and then think, oh yeah, damn, I want to jump right into another mission. Um, <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. It's 8pm. Hmm. Raranok, thanks very much for that gifted sub. I appreciate it. Do I know any other streamers who stream or have streamed XCOM 2 Long War? I think just um, going on Twitch Tracker and looking for XCOM 2 would probably find you some. That would be the way that I looked for people. Congrats on No Deaths HQ. Thanks. No Deaths on HQ so far, right? No Deaths in general in that campaign for a while other than the couple of Scotties and the Recruit Mini Retail. I mean, those are deaths, which sucks, but in terms of the roster, we still have all of our high-level soldiers doing fine, so. Going all right. I'm going to wind down the stream here, go have dinner. I mean, a good stream. I played, like, I really enjoyed Monster Train today, and I really enjoyed XCOM today, so I didn't quite make it to Fallout. But that's all right. There's always tomorrow. And I'm gonna throw a raid somewhere, just trying to work out where. Oh, let's raid Arvius. Arvius is playing some Civ Five multiplayer. I last played Slay the Spire yesterday. Alright, cool. I'll see you next time, everybody.